Alright, so boom, y'all. Today I got a special video inspired by the YouTuber Amir, hence the intro, that will most definitely, I say again, most definitely trigger a lot of people because today's generation is soft as baby shit and don't know how to take criticism. It's 2020, y'all. You're the simp. Today we're going to be looking at 25 rappers I refuse to listen to. Here's the reason I said this video is going to trigger a lot of people because if I don't listen to your favorite rappers, you're going to think that... You know, I don't have good taste in music or whatever whatever the hell people be saying these days. This list is in no particular order, and I'm splitting this up into three tiers. Garbage, generic, and decent slash good, but not my cup of tea. Two things before we hop into this. One, this is all my opinion, so there's no reason to get triggered. You know what I'm saying? Some rappers stands should I say stands or toxic, and once again, can't take criticism. And number two, I hate trap music and mumble rap with a passion. One dimensional with zero meaning. Not that it matters anyway, because it's just a guilty pleasure for most people that just want to turn up and get lit, as they say. They go into it not for the lyrics, but for the beat itself. The lyrics can be complete trash, but if that beat go hard, they're gonna say fuck the lyrics and just turn up to the beat. This goes to show how far rap is falling. Lyrics don't matter to people these days anyway, unless you're old here like me. So I'm more of a chill, laid back, cool, calm, and collected kind of guy. The music I listen to reflects that. That trap and mumble shit ain't for me. I lose brain cells here that shit. I know y'all like, damn, bro, what kind of music do you listen to? Also, what do you look for specifically in a rap song? Three things. Lyricism, storytelling, and versatility. Something we barely get in rap these days since Trap and Mumble took over, which is the main reason my interest in rap has dwindled in the last decade. So I've been on my white boy shit lately, listening to a lot of rock with a dash of heavy metal. Funny enough, I can see that one ignorant motherfucker in the comments saying, wow, you actually listen to that satanic double worshiping shit? Uh, one, rock ain't even close to being satanic or double worshiping, and two, what you thinking of is death metal, black metal, new metal, shit like that. That's satanic. I.e. corn, slipknot, cannibal chorus, Marilyn Manson, Etc. Etc. Rock is the complete opposite, and if you actually take the time to listen to it, you would know. I'm a big fan of rock music, and it's refreshing to say the least. Fun fact: Alter Bridge is my favorite band. But y'all didn't click on this video to hear me talk about rock music. Y'all click to hear me talk about rap and make fun of it. With that said, let's look at 25 rappers I just flat out refuse to listen to. Remember. This is all my opinion, and I'm going through this with an old hairs mindset. Now, if I was going through this in the mindset of a child from today's generation, then my opinions would be completely different. Before we hop into it, here's a few honorable slash dishonorable mentions, because you know we gotta have these in there. Honorable, there's only two of them. Denzel Curry. He ain't bad or anything, he's just not my cup of tea. And if you watch Amir's video where he talked about Denzel Curry, what he said about him is exactly how I feel. We like right over money as far as Denzel Curry goes. He's not a bad artist. It's just not my cup of tea. Lil Tecca. He is the Kawhi Leonard of rap, from his demeanor to his blank facial expressions to his monotone ass voice. He's also pretty generic. Not bad, but not good either. And that's not a knock on Kawhi, by the way. <laughs> also, we're gonna be talking about voices a lot, so get ready. Dishonorable mentions Lil Yachty, Lil Zane, Young Bands, Kodak Black, Famous Dex, Wish the Kid, Lil Key, Baby King, 504. 24K Golden, 645AR. They all trash to me. 645AR is on here just because. Dude is a joke. And I find it funny how some people actually like his music. This proves my point about trap music. People only care about the beat. Nobody cares about the lyrics these days, because if they did, people wouldn't be giving his Mickey Mouse sound and that's all the cloud he's getting. I guarantee you, if he came out 10 years ago, he'd have been dead on arrival. But it's 2020. The quality of rappers in the damn bathroom start with Ja Rule. I know the Thugger fans about a heater right now. Fuck you mean Thug is trash. Boy, he got hits. Still answer me. Especially with that high pitch ass voice. Just sound like 17 mosquitoes having a gay orgy. And after that song Lifestyle, I never took him seriously. And just because he got hits, doesn't mean they're good hits. Some hits are complete garbage. And that's just how mainstream works. They choose garbage rappers over rappers with actual talent. Don't He's been one of the top five worst rappers of all time. That's the Soldier Boy, Lil Pump, and Smoke Pump in that order. The song At Me is god fucking awful. The beat is cool, but my god, did he get worse. He sounded like a roast taking back shots with Wesley Pipes, commentary included. How the fuck you go from Woke Up Like This to that? Even that song is trash. This whole discography is trash. Next. Uh, I'm a motherfucking stoner. I'm a motherfucking boner. I got a motherfucking boner. Shit, me and CDTV Productions already roasted his goofy ass. Next. Ooh, whole gang full of drug addicts. Ooh, chill. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. Uh -huh. I taste drugs like a vitamin C. I'm a millionaire, but I don't know how to read. Ooh. All the way to sign this shit. Ooh, popping out the rape for shit. Gucci gang, Gucci 
gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Hear me and hear me good, nigga. I'm here to double down. That shit is a, a two pack of ass. The fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks. Oh my god, you put him on the list just because he caps in his songs. Bingo. That and he raps about the same shit in every song. Nothing special. It's still lit though. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Dude is generic as an auto-generated rookie on NBA 2K. The most basic you can get as melodic rap goes, and after that XXL failure but freestyle slash cypher, I will never take him seriously. I don't give a fuck how catchy Blueberry Fago is. The song is trash because you're talking about lean, but the hook, that's just still catchy though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been getting it since the taller, I keep dollars on my head. Been a real one, this my motto, and my problems, I ain't scared. I shit you not, I didn't even know who the fuck this was until I watched Who It Is 2 by McAshole. Did you be any real? Be real? I ain't cooking long. Gotta come with chase, but I ain't chasing no hoes. Ain't chasing no hoes. I thought to myself, ain't no way in hell he really rapped like that. So I checked out a couple of his songs. In other words, I did my research. And uh, he actually does rap like that. You can even call that rapping. More like mumbling trash lyrics and no meaning. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. Next. Bust down, Tatiana. Bust down, Tatiana. I wanna see you bust down. I even gotta explain. Next. I'm a late bloomer, third year on the scene. 20 racks don't feel like nothing to me. His voice is annoying as hell, bro. He sound like a fat ass bee buzzing in years like flies on shit. He sound like Plankton's wife on weed, lean, and Hennessy at the same damn time. He sound like a big girl when she wake up farting yawn in the morning. Okay, that's too far. <laughs> I'm just joshing. <laughs> I'm just joshing in my Jack Harlow voice. I know I love them BBWs. By the way, Jack Harlow can out rap and out freestyle almost everybody on this list. Don't you fucking at me. I ain't give a fuck about him before he got locked up, and I don't give a fuck about him now. He's one of the worst rappers of today's generation. Completely one dimensional, nothing but shit screen raps and shit singing with auto tune. Scar Lord's voice is complete air rate, but he has way better music than SNES 9. I'm just saying. I probably pissed some people off with this one. I ain't saying he's trash, he's just very generic to me. And his voice is annoying as hell. Sound like he just got his ass whipped in front of his whole class for getting in trouble in school and his pants made him sink in front of the whole class as a punishment after getting his ass whipped. Jokes aside, he alright, could be better. He does that one Black Lives Matter song, even though I didn't understand the word he said. It's that damn auto tune. And before anybody say something, I did hear him rap without the auto tune. And honestly, he would be much better without the auto tune. And I'm gonna say that about another certain someone later on in this list. Yeah, I think it's time to shine. I've been waiting so long. Bros keep serving time. He's been gone for so long. His fans, or should I say his stands, is gonna hate me for this one. Say what you want, but I don't find anything appealing to Bonnie. And I definitely can't take him seriously with that dumbass line to keep repeating in every song. <laughs> she says she a virgin, it's hurting. About my Birkin, it's working. She says she a virgin, it's hurting. I got up on my Birkin, it's working. She says she a virgin, it's hurting. It's up on my Birkin, it's working. She says she a virgin, it's hurting. My sister roasted the shit out of him for that on IG and this toxic ass stand base came after her and attacked her for it because they can't take criticism, let alone a joke. It all just dick. Come on, man. I know that line might be a staple, but it gets old and annoying after a while. Imagine him saying that shit 20 years from now. People gonna be like, bro, you still saying that shit? She still ain't got no dick? You still ain't smashed? Come on, bro. Say something different. Come on, man. That shit's just as annoying as logic when he constantly mentions him being half black, half white in that song. Come on, you gotta think of some different shit. Otherwise, I wouldn't call you generic. I'm just saying. And it wouldn't surprise me in the least if you used that shit in this XXL cipher. But if it makes y'all feel any better, Lil TJ is the best rapper in this tier. And that says a lot coming from me. Yeah. Hey, but now they tell me I switched up. Take this back, wood to the face, then grab my cup. Just like Lil TJ, I find nothing appealing about him. Just another basic melodic rapper using auto tune. I couldn't care less. I thought about it. But like Randy Jackson says, it's definitely a no for me, dog. Trying to hide from the camera. Hide from the camera. I ain't going outside today. There's another rapper I feel is very generic. 
basic bars, basic flow, and nothing else. Oh, and his voice is annoying as hell too. After I heard that first line from outside today, don't have any cameras. I ain't going outside today. Trying to hide from the camera. Hide from the camera. I ain't going outside today. I turned that shit off, bro. It's <laughs> that damn voice, bro. You can say he's a little pitchy, as Roman Official would say. A little too pitchy for me. Auto tune makes it worse. And before a toxic ass stand base comes at me like Lil TJ stands, I'm not saying he's trash, even though I almost put him in the garbage tier. Just be happy I didn't. I was being generous, goddammit. I am a menace. Keep me a rat, like tennis. I'm with this shit like I'm Dennis. I started this shit, I'm a penis. Another rapper who everybody swears up and down this music is the hardest shit in the world. I bet you goddamn different. I've heard better lines and better rounds from rappers I actually like. The average trap music fan would call me a hater, but I said what I said. And for anybody to say some dumb shit, I did hear the first shot of for. I listened for a minute and 15 seconds, and I'm lying like shit. I was in the party chat on PS4 with the homie Scott, and he played it. He raps about the same shit as everybody else, and it's boring as hell, and it's nothing different. That's all I'm gonna say about that. These niggas don't rap what they live in, Thanks. but it's not good, I admit it. I almost put his seal from Ice Age looking ass in the garbage tier, but I refrained because unlike everybody in that tier, he can actually rap. But the same shit I said about NLE Chopper applies to him. Just super basic to me. <laughs> Boy, are you tripping? Stunt Wolf Vegas go hard. <laughs> not really. I don't see it. Let alone here. He raps about the same shit as everybody else. It ain't nothing new. Huh? What? Ah, uh, I thought a bro nigga said something. Uh, Talk of shit, but they still ain't saying nothing. We gon' gonna trap this bitch out till the feds come. Just like Gunner, I ain't even know who the hell he was until I watched Who It Is too by McAsho. Real niggas don't beef on the internet. <laughs> they don't. You should already know that. Yeah. Hit 20 bands for the show and I'll probably go blow that. Like the get flashing like Kodak. I also heard his music playing in the background of some of Jayla's vids, you know, the self-proclaimed best female sharp shit on NBA 2K. Yeah, she lucky a goddess at that shit, I ain't even gonna count. But that's besides the point, in my dashy voice. I did my research on Moneybags music, and it's the same shit that everybody else raps about. Ain't nothing I ain't never heard before. That's, what, three rappers in a row that I just said that shit for? Come on, man. Actually, that's four. It's about to be five for this next one. Taco Tuesday, I got the cheese, she tasting the Kool-Aid. Me go the plug, Guadalupe. She gonna do what the group's like a print day. This one is gonna piss a lot of people off. Oh my god, Migos are not generic. To you they not. To me they are. I always thought they were generic ever since Versace. Unpopular opinion, take off is the best Migo, followed by Offset. She filled my mind up with ideas. I'm not as in the room. Once again, in my merciless badass last murder show voice, because this is how some of y'all geeks be sounding. Oh my god, you don't listen to Travis? No, I do not. And I don't plan to. Like now, he kind of sounds a little robotic. Okay, a lot of it. Nothing against him, it's just that damn auto tune. Now I'll admit, he got some fire ass beats, but I don't listen to rap for the beat. I listen for lyrics and storytelling. His lyrics are, you know, pretty meh. They ain't bad, but they ain't good. But you know how people are, they say fuck the lyrics, they listen to the beat instead. Either way, he does nothing for me. Not even as a feature. I eat a song, take what you want. I'm a big fan of Post Malone, and I love Ozzy Osbourne, but Travis almost ruined the damn song for me. He didn't say anything interesting and sounded just as, if not more robotic than usual. Again, nothing against Travis. This music just ain't for me. Now, I will say, after hearing his uh, his XXL Cypher recently, just part of it, hearing him without auto-tune is like a breath of fresh air. Lifted, I'm feeling it so gifted, tripping, I'm constantly falling, channel view of that whole villa plotting while burning the Marley, speeding, and damn, I'm leaning on the Kawasaki in the lobby, got me Joe Codeen it, I didn't Abu Dhabi. I honestly prefer him that way over him using auto tune, because if he was to use auto tune and project and execute on these fire ass beats, he would definitely be on my Spotify playlist for sure. But because he sounds like a fucking robot. That's what he sound like. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. But because he sounds like a robot, I just opt not to listen to him. I remember hitting them all with a whole team. Nah, nigga, can't that's a call cause I'm balling. We're gonna mix it up for this one. Instead of using the merciless badass voice, we're gonna use the corporate voice. This is how some of y'all geeks be sounding. Wow. <laughs> Say you lying. That's one thing keeping me from listening to him. And it's his goddamn voice. Just like I said in the beginning of the video, the voice is gonna be a running theme with these rappers. He can be a little pitchy sometimes, but other than that, I have nothing bad to say about him. He's a great artist, his music just ain't for me. Also, I'm kinda over melodic rap at this point. I just don't enjoy it as much as everybody else does. The only melodic rapper I listen to is Juice World. 
God rest his soul. We pop out at your party. I'm with the gang. And it's gonna be a robbery. So tuck your chain. Look back at it. She ain't never do this before, but she good at it. So she never made love, but she good at it. I love these two together because they both have one glaring similarity. Now, can you guess what that one similarity is? Ten seconds, Mr. Marsh. Well, I know it, but I don't think I should say it. Five seconds, Mr. Marsh. Uh, all right, I'd like to solve the puzzle. <clears throat> if you said they both sound like they're about to cry on the beat, you are correct, and you have won nothing. <laughs> I shit you not, they both do something like they about to cry on the beat. More so a buddy. Now don't get me wrong, they're both great artists. But if I was to try and listen to both of them back to back for an hour, I probably wouldn't make the past the third song. No cap. Like is you singing or is you crying, my guy? <laughs> Fun fact, I haven't listened to a single A Boogie song since Drowning. And Kodak ruined that song for me with a shitty ass verse. And Pop Out is the only Polo G song I ever heard. I'm lying like shit, only I didn't even didn't even listen to the whole thing. I only heard snippets and YouTube videos and TikToks. Go figure. Also, Polo G is better than Lil TJ. Don't even at me. Like Roddy Rick, Trippy Red can be a little pitchy. Well, more than a little pitchy with the way he be singing on auto tune. But to keep it a stack, his music just ain't for me. But I will say, Love Scars is my favorite song from him, considering that's the only song from him that I know. Even though I like Lil Uzi's version better. You know, Love Scars, L U V Scars. Outside of that god awful Emmett Till line and that god awful Smoke Prep song, I have nothing but positive things to say about Ski Blast. His music is cool, he can rap his ass off, and fast too. It just ain't my kind of music, and it probably never will be. I'll just make this one quick. The baby bores the hell out of me. <laughs> he ain't a bad rapper, his music just ain't for me. Hot <laughs> bars, that shit rhyme. I've heard less than a handful of the baby songs, and this is just me being honest. I've heard less than a handful of the baby songs on the radio ride in the car with my father, and his music almost put me to sleep. Honestly, his SXL Cypher Freestyle was the only thing that really piqued my interest, even though it was probably some shitty spit before. Because when was the last time an SXL freshman actually spit a legit freestyle off the dome and actually sounded great? <laughs> They're doing new style. They're doing new. <laughs> Everybody's Cypher Freestyle is pre written, you could tell. But I will give credit where credit is due. The baby's a dope artist. In my honest opinion, he's the best baby rapper in the game right now. Better than Baby King, better than Lil Baby, better than Bad Baby, and any other rapper named Baby. Still boys me though, but at least he got bars. And that there is 25 rappers I just flat out refuse to listen to. And I just realized this list consists of mostly melodic rappers. But if I had to choose three rappers out of this list to actually give a chance to, it would definitely be Roddy Rich, Polo G, and A Boogie with the hoodie without a doubt. But it'd be a long ass time before that would ever happen. Like I said, I'm over melodic rapper at this point. The only melodic rapper I actually listen to is Juice World. Other than that, I tend to stay away from this new shit. Honestly, I'll pretty much listen to anything pre-2009, because 09 is when rap started to go downhill. For me. And then 2010 came and it fell off a cliff, especially after I seen Webby on 106 and Park on New Year. Bro, I shit you not. He said 010 is gonna be different. <laughs> 010, bro? He could have just said 2010 like everybody else. This fool said 010, bro. He said 010 is gonna be different. And lo and behold, he was right. When the quality of rap slowly but surely went right in the damn toilet bowl with Jaru. But if you must know, my favorite genre of rap is boom bap and G-Funk. You know what I'm saying? The 90s is where it's at. You know what I'm saying? You know I gotta have my goddamn West Coast classes. You know I gotta have my New York classes. You know what I'm saying? West Coast classes. You know I love that Nate dog. You know I gotta have my Snoop Dogg, my Dub C, my goddamn West Side Connection, my Eazy, -E, my NWA, Ice Cube, all that shit, MC8, J.O. Felony. You know what I'm saying? That's my shit. Then on the New York side, you know, we gotta have that Wu-Tang. You know what I'm saying? We gotta have Jay-Z. We gotta have Nas. We gotta have Nori. You know what I'm saying? New York legends. The actual kings of New York. 6 9 king of New York? King of New York, he's nuts. He's the king of his fucking jail cell. I know he just got released, but I'm just saying. <laughs> But I'd rather listen to my oldies, you know what I'm saying? Call me old head all you want, I don't give 37 shits. That's just me. This new shit had me losing brain cells. You know what I'm saying? When I listen to that old shit, I feel right at home. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up like a condom. Instead of doing the usual fuck Donald Trump intro or outro, I should say, that I would normally do. Because I'm letting him grieve right now, seeing as he just lost his brother and all. And it would be fucked up for me to just say fuck Donald Trump out of nowhere after he lost his brother. So I'm gonna let him grieve, even though I hate his goddamn guts. So you know what I'm gonna do? Since I mentioned Nori, I'm gonna use one of my favorite lines from him from one of my favorite hood movies. Y'all stay cool, like how'd you be cool, alright? Alright, water. Alright. <laughs>
Hey, 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 it's OG Low, call me, and I'ma kick a little something like this. Hey, yo, when I come through, open the place. You don't want me to come with a gun in your face. I spit it hotter than anybody in the yo, world could do. That it's shit like I sucks. Damn. Damn, my shit was whack. Bye, have a beautiful time.